everyone welcome back to a new video in today's video i am going to be doing a set of gel polish tips on these tips gel polish tips on these tips yes i suppose i am inspired by this beautiful phone case from case nova club so i do have a 10 percent off code if you want to buy they sell like phone cases airpod cases air tag like holder things um iphone wrist what well, you know watch wristbands they've got loads of stuff on there that's sort of apple related so go and have a look this is the case that i am gonna use as my inspiration for the set today it has got little crystals along the edge of the case and then obviously the beautiful glitter ombre back which is what i'm taking as my inspiration today the colors that i'm using are madam glam colors uh, the first one is no buns no glory these are from the latest their latest anniversary collection um pink about you flirty and thriving i think it's called i can't say it and lilac you a lot i didn't call it that though i stupidly called it their july anniversary set collection or something but it's called flirty and thriving oh my god try and say that really quick flirty and th thriving flirty and thriving thrive oh it's really weird really difficult to say anyway um the first nail i'm gonna do is a triple ombre <sighs> now if you will have seen the thumbnail you'll be like why is she using the orange she didn't use the orange in the thumbnail well actually i did but i kind of covered it up you'll see why you'll see you'll see you'll see i'll talk about it in the video so we've got lilac then we've got pink and then we've got this beautiful orange that i felt in the end didn't quite go with a set and i'll explain what i did but before I do that, we're doing the triple ombre. We're using an ombre brush and we're going to just... Well, I tried to do... I watched... If you watched Kelly... If you watched Kelly Wiper, I was like, wow, I'm going to do how she done it. So she makes it look really easy. So she kind of... I can't even... I, I should probably watch the video again, actually. But she kind of done like a flicky down. And then she done a flicky the other way. And she kind of done like small strokes and hers blended like really nicely and i'm like i'm not doing this right i'm clearly i must be doing this wrong <laughs> because that didn't look very blended to me anyway i ended up doing my usual flicky backwards and forwards thing that i do go and check out kelly's video i can't remember which one it was now i think it was a set of press-ons that she done and she used madame glam colors and they blended together like a dream but these didn't for me doing it her way anyway um they ended up blending really nicely but I, I don't know, I'm just used to this sort of flicky backwards and forwards horizontal, horizontal, yeah, horizontal flicky thing. I don't even know what you call it. Um, but I am doing that. And as I do it, I try to use the very tip of the bristles. Don't like, don't push the brush down really hard into the gel polish. Otherwise, it kind of ends up taking away a lot of the colour. And this is the first layer so remember there's going to be a second layer so this one doesn't have to be absolutely perfect but try and get it as as nice as you as you can because it's just going to help the it's just going to help with the second layer so this is the second layer madame glam gel polishes cure in an led lamp for 30 seconds so it would have had a 30 second cure then i'm going to go in with the with the second layer So I'm using, or I tried to use a smaller amount of the pink because the pink is quite, what's the word? It's quite vibrant. Um, I thought I used a little bit less pink, but actually I've probably used about the same amount as all the others. <laughs> um, the pink is quite, you know, bold and bright. So if I was to blend them, I thought you'd see more of the pink. So if, you, if, if you're gonna blend colors together, if you've got like a really bold color, use like less of that if you want there to be hmm, i'm probably not explaining this i'll have to explain it in another video right so now i'm just flicking the top and then once i'm happy because i've been because i've been flicking <laughs> that sounds so weird I'm, what I'm going to do is there's going to be like little there's going to be like little ridges in the gel polish. So what I like to do is once I have finished the ombre, I'm happy with how it looks. I like to leave the what is it called the tip. I like to leave the tip just just sort of just to settle for a little bit. 
Now I can do this on my tip because it's not on a person. If you're doing it on a person, just sort of leave it for. A, I mean, you don't have, you don't even have to do it, but because it's on a tip and I I can do it because it's on a tip, I'm just going to leave it for a little bit before I pop it in the lamp just to allow that gel polish to sort of self level a bit more. Um, and then I'll I'll end up with like less ridges and bumps in it. This next now is going to be our what is it? Uh, oh, our glitter nail. Yes, yes, yes. But because I want, I want a colour underneath, so I was like, right, I'm just going to go with the, the lilac. We are not going to see any of the lilac underneath, FYI. So do bear that in mind. Right, the colours I've got, these are from Nail Sugar. I've got Wisteria. These are all, uh, hang on, ignore, right, this is Dusky Pink. It's a fine holographic pink. I'm not going to use this. I changed my mind just as I'm about to glitter it on. Um, I've also got Bronze Blush. Oh, it's so nice. And then I've got Sandstone, which is going to be the gold at the bottom. They don't have a lot of gold on the bottom of the case, but there is some. Can you see the gold at the bottom? Um, so I am going to sugar this into a no wipe top coat. So I'm using Madame Glam's no wipe top coat. We're going to put a nice even layer across the nail tip. And we're going to sugar the glitters into this. Right, if your client doesn't like a textured feel, then you can go over with like, I would glitter it, um, glitter it on, sugar it on. Then you could go over with a layer of base coat or Madame Glam's Builder in a Bottle and then go over with some top coat just to make it more smooth. I'm going to leave it sugared. So I'm only putting a little bit of the gold at the bottom because on the case there wasn't a lot of gold. And then every time I finish sprinkling one colour on, I'm going to just put that back in the pot. And then look, I'm moving on to the bronze blush. And then I decided to change Dusky Pink up because the, these other ones are metallic and they are, they are sort of a chunky mix. I decided to change it to Rosy Posy. I felt like this, you can't see me sugaring it on. I went out the screen here. What a plonker. But it just looked a lot nicer. It just looked more, what's the word? It kind of blended in nicer. Where have I gone? All right, now we're going to use Wisteria. So Wisteria is just going to go at the top to finish it off. I had to move the thing down a bit because I was like, okay, now they can actually see. And I'm just, all I'm doing is I'm gently just pressing my finger against the side walls just to push the glitter up. And then I'm, I'm, I do kind of gently press over the, do I do it on this one? Maybe I don't. Um, you can just gently press on the top to push the glitter down to make sure there's no bits sticking up. And then I like to just brush off any excess glitter. And we've just got this beautiful ombre chunky glitter nail. It looks really, really nice. I really liked it. Oh, I love it so much. You can get 10% off any nail sugar glitters as well using my code NATMUG10. Then did you notice I've just put that other nail into Cure because I'd forgotten about it. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't leave it quite that long, but because I'd forgotten about it, I was like, oh God, better put that in before I do something silly. And then the other two nails, I am going to do one full colour of, uh, was it Pink About You? Yes, it was Pink About You. And the other one is just going to be the Lilac You A Lot. I felt like these didn't, they didn't really need to be, we didn't need any sort of crazy designs on these. But I am going to do something else on these that I thought about last minute. And actually, I really liked it. So I was looking at them there thinking that orange just doesn't go. Um, so I, like here I was like the orange just doesn't it just doesn't look right So what I done was I took the pink about you and I just put it on the bottom of the nail only one coat And then can you see where can you see in the middle of the nail where I've blended it up with the ombre brush? You're not going to notice that when we top coat it. You're not going to see it But I just felt it looked it looked a bit better Then I'm going to use the velvet matte top coat. I done this prematurely this is a, a mistake I made on this on this set. So I could do it on the, the ombre now because the ombre now I'm leaving as it is. I'm not doing anything else to the ombre now. But the plain coloured nails here, I am going to add some brush strokes on. So don't top coat these now. If you want to recreate these, don't top coat these two plain nails now. Do it in a minute. 
I'll, I'll, I'll tell you when you can top coat them. <laughs> but yeah, I done it a little bit prematurely. It was because I didn't know, it, I wasn't quite sure what else I was going to do. So I, I just, yeah, I, I top coated them. Right, make sure they're all completely covered before you pop them in the lamp so that every part of the nail is matte top coated. Then we're going to use the gold gel paint. This is a really nice gold as well. It's not a like, it's not one of those horrible yellow golds. It's like a gold gold, like a nice champagne gold. And I'm going to take a little bit of the two, uh, the pink and the lilac, the two gel polishes that we've used in the set already. And I'm going to place a, I put way too much on. You don't need that much. A little bit onto my palette. Then I'm taking Madame Glam's ombre brush and I'm just going to, like almost with a dry brush, I'm, look, I'm just, running that color through the brush and I'm just going to create some brush strokes like nothing I went a little bit mad there it was a little bit wasn't quite anyway I'm going to do it in I'm going to do about three strokes on the nails and you can do these kind of like in any direction I decided to stick with horizontal and vertical like brush strokes and then on this one, I'm going to use the darker pink. There we go. Billy. He's going to bark. Little rat bag. So again, like, and then I'm going to do a, a brush stroke at the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to pop those into the lamp to cure. This is when I should have top coated them. Um, this is the, I'm using the, right, can you see the gold? I'm just wiping some of the gold off because you almost want like a dry brush to do this. Right, so imagine you top coated now. These gel paints have, uh, they cure with a, with a non-tacky layer. So this would be like your, you'd be doing this on your finished nail. And these would leave, so you'd have a matte nail and, you, and then the gold like brush strokes that we're doing here would be shiny which I yeah I really liked in the end but I'll tell you how I I amended my mistake so I'm just going over where the previous brush strokes are but I've moved off it ever so slightly so you can still see the pink underneath and then I'm going to do it here so can you see I've started my brush stroke kind of half on and half off that previous okay maybe not at the bottom but you can still see the color underneath. There we go. So now they're gonna get a 60 second cure. And I knew he was gonna bark. Billy, stop. I, when, he, when he barks, I've got this squirter thing, this water squirter, and it stops him barking. He hates it. Right, so yeah, so we're top coating now. I'm top coating again. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go back over the gold parts with more gold so that they are shiny. <clears throat> got a tickle in my throat i know this is a really long-winded way of doing it but if i'd have not yeah if you'd have top coated when i'd have said like the second part do you know you know you could leave it like that i mean it looks quite ni nice like that but i i wanted the gold to to be shiny i wanted it to stand out a bit more so i'm literally just going to go over the areas that i've put the gold on because it looks really nice. The matte nail looks really nice with the, the shiny gold, like, accented brush strokes. I really liked it. Then I'm going to do the same on this one. They're putting scaffolding up over the road now. It looks like a car park, honestly. But they're putting scaffolding up. I think they're probably going to do the windows or something now. There we go. So I'm going to leave it like that. Then that's going to pop in the lamp. And then that's going to be it finished. But you don't need to do all those steps. Just do your first colour of brush stroke, then top coat, then do your gold because the gold has a non-tacky layer, so you don't need to top coat that. There we go. Anyway, that is the set finished. You can get 30% off Madame Glam gel polishes, by the way, using my code NAPMOCK30. But all the description, uh, all the links to websites and discount codes will be in the description box. And then this is the set inspired by that phone case. I think the glitters matched perfectly. Like, amazing. Go and buy yourself a phone case, because why not? I love phone cases and stuff like that. I'm terrible. 
anyway i hope you liked this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it is completely free and i will see you beautiful lot hopefully i'll see you tomorrow with another video though i haven't got a video planned so i'm playing it by ear this week but anyway love you all see you soon